Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to this new trend tested video. Now, this is another wardrobe staple for me, something I literally live in and something I think that loads of you guys would get a lot of use out of. So this one's about light blue jeans. So throughout this trend tested series I kind of want to work my way through various sort of wardrobe staples, stuff that I think loads of you guys will actually get a lot of use from without having to spend too much money. You know we've had Hawaiian shirts in the first week, uh, we saw various ways to wear those across different seasons, denim jackets last week, we've got this one this week and next week's I'm planning in which will be perfect for any of you guys that struggle with pattern and colour. That's a bit of tease for you. But this one is all about light blue jeans. Now, these ones I'm going to be styling up, just one pair to style, because I want you to kind of work out your own pair and how you can work those in. These are from ASOS, these are ankle grazer ones, so they sit just on the top of the shoe. Um, and if you follow me on Instagram, then you know that I've literally been wearing these for about a month, non-stop. I love them, they're a great shape, great fit. I've also got other ones from ASOS. Um, these ones are a straight leg, so it means it's going to sit slightly wider on your leg, which is a great shape for most guys, actually. Um, I've got Dr. Denim ones here, they're a sort of thicker D, uh, Dean? Jean Denim. Um, and then we've got a pair from Bershka, which is another high street store. So the five looks we've got here, we've got kind of casual ones, we've got a smarter look, we've got a, do you know what, I'm just going to show you. We're going to start with my favourite from last week, which is seasonal layering. Now this to me is seasonal layering all over. You know, when I think of autumn, winter, this is the kind of thing I think of. But I know that when we are dressing for those colder months, we quite often wear stuff which is really drab and dark. But you can do something lighter and brighter, as I'm showing you here. With the light blue jeans and the creamy coat, it just picks it up slightly. But obviously layering on top of a roll neck still keeps it with that sort of autumn winter vibe. And then guys, I've just finished it off with a pair of Chelsea boots, which you saw in the video last week. And you'll continue to see because I absolutely love these. And um, I think with this look really, it's really transitional. You could start wearing this as it gets colder out of autumn, but really you could wear it all the way through to the end of winter, just by changing little pieces, adding a scarf, wearing something slightly heavier. But you can see the light blue jeans really do work. Now the next look, I'm kind of pushing it again. Last week we spoke about double denim. This time I'm going triple denim. Now, I often think that double denim, triple denim really comes into its own in light wash. You've got that sort of Canadian tuxedo look. If you go dark wash, you don't really notice it as well. But if you really want to push it, then this is the kind of thing you can do. I've got this granddad collar denim shirt, the light wash um, denim jacket, which you saw last week, and then on top of those jeans, and then with the Gucci trainers. For me, this is a look that I definitely would wear. It's definitely more spring, summer than autumn, winter, just because it is so light. But again, if you do want to do that double, triple denim, whatever it might be, you can swap various things out. It's really up to you, and just by changing those little colours, you can then give it extra mileage in your outfit. Now the next one I've just called light and bright. You'll remember this shirt from my rail in the first video, it's the Hawaiian shirt. It's not actually the one I wore in that video, but it's one that, actually I prefer than the one I've shown. But this is more of a sort of summer look, a spring look. I've just got the light wash jeans with this Hawaiian shirt, and then just really kept it tucked in. And I would say, you know, that's a top tip for all shapes, all sizes, from the smallest of guys to the largest of guys. Tucking something in your waist just helps to give you more of a shape. If you've got it hanging out, especially if you've got a bit of a stomach, I like to hold stuff in because otherwise you're gonna get something that's almost like an apron and it's gonna sit straight down your body. Tucking it in is gonna pull it in and give you that better silhouette. You could swap that shirt out with absolutely anything, you know, a t-shirt, a white shirt, something else that's printed or just a sweatshirt and this sort of look really is timeless and will take you across also just these little sandal shoes I've got sorry woven shoes that I've got which are from June um, again everything's absolutely linked down below so you want to check any of it out the next catch of the look I've taken across all of them and this is everyday casual now for me this is probably the most wearable look I've gone again for that Marks and Spencer shirt that we saw last week, but this time, guys, I've gone against everything I've just said in the last one, and I've got it untucked. Now, the reason I've done this is because the bomber actually helps provide the shape. It's always about the outer layer and how it sits against your body. It's sitting right on my waist, so it means that provides a shape, and then any other layers can just be added as extra. I just think with this whole look, you've got something which is darker on top, it could be any sort of shade of bomber. A sort of lighter colour too would make it more summery, a darker colour would make it more autumn winter. 
but you can see the dark of the bomber with the navy and the black getting lighter into the blue and then wearing it with something which is lighter on foot. Again, these are the June shoes that I've worn before. I just think pulls that whole outfit in. To me, this outfit is just like the perfect Sunday outfit, the kind of thing that you want to go for a little walk, go to the pub, sit with your friends, have a beer, chill out or a glass of wine or whatever you want. It's just so comfortable. Now our final look is going from the very much everyday casual to smart casual. For this one, I've actually just taken something which would have been a suit look and swapped the trousers out for the jeans. Now what you can see here is we've got something which looks really formal up top and then the jeans down below is very casual. So putting them together, you've got something which is a lot more relaxed. Because you've got the blue in the suit with the light blue of the jeans, it just pulls it all together. And I've said it before, you know, if you want to go for a smart casual look, don't wear a tie, don't wear a bow tie, anything, either keep it unbuttoned or wear something with grandad collar like I've done here. Also with the shoes, I've not got them too formal, I've gone for these woven brogues, which are that perfect sort of mix of smart casual. Really again, you could swap out that blazer with anything you've got for something lighter or brighter depending what you want to do. But you can just see here that the jeans really do sort of change the tone of the full outfit. You know, I'm looking there and I'm thinking, actually, smart casual might actually be my favourite in this. I love seasonal layering, I always love seasonal layering. Everyday casual, I like too. Um, there's just something in each of these that I definitely would wear in an outfit. But you can let me know which of the five is your favourite. I'm going to do that poll. I do a poll all the time. You can let me know right there. I always have in my head the ones that I think are going to be the most popular and they never are. Also guys, I want to say, I had a comment last week from someone saying that each of these looks is like something that I, as in me, Robin, wouldn't wear. That's actually a very good point and that's what I want this series to be. I don't want it to be about five looks that I definitely would wear. This series stands for inspiration. It's not just about me and my own personal style, but it's giving you guys hopefully something that you can take away and make you think of outfits and pieces of clothing in a different way. So I'm glad you said that because actually that's what I want from this. But there you go. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this one. If you did, I'm going to put my iPad down and you're going to press subscribe. The button is just up there. There's also more video suggestions down there. Stay with me and watch them or head to my blog. Oh, I should have said, I've got light wash jeans, a gallery sort of thing, shopping gallery. Go there now. But I'll see you in my next new video, which will be Sunday. Bye-bye. Oh no, Thursday. Bye.